here in Indiana, the push to end homelessness. Today, there is some encouraging news in our state. Now, the number of people living out on the streets or in shelters is actually going down. In fact, at last count, 5,200 people are considered homeless on any given day. That's down from more than 6,000 a decade ago. Our Dustin Grove got a look inside a brand new facility in Lafayette today that is really helping solve the homeless problem there. The people who are running say hey, there is no place else like it in the country. Advocates for the homeless here in Lafayette say this new $14 million building is much more than a place to provide shelter. It's a way to get people out of homelessness for good. <laughs> Kenneth Bowling will turn 60 years old next month. The Army veteran says he never thought he'd end up in a place like this, but today he's thankful he did. I wouldn't be where I was at if it wasn't for these people. They've helped me a lot. Just a few weeks ago, he was living in his car, but then landed here at LTHC Homeless Services in Lafayette. Uh, they took me straight over to get my bed for the first night, so I'd have a bed. And then they just started doing everything they needed to do. Okay, He's one of nearly 300 people who've come through the doors for help since the new facility opened just three weeks ago. You know, this is about bringing services to the people. There's this day room downstairs and more than 40 of these apartments upstairs. But Executive Director Jennifer Layton says it's more than a bed and a hot meal. What makes us unique is that we bring lots of different things together. Instead of housing the homeless and then sending them out to other agencies to get the help they need, all of that help comes here. On-site mental health services, substance abuse counseling, and employment help, even a haircutting station. And Layton says every guest gets a counselor to help them get through the process and back on their feet. Homelessness is actually a national crisis. There are, at any given night, over 500,000 people that are experiencing homelessness. And so we must do better. These people are great. I call them my angels. The Lord was looking out for me and sent all these angels to help me. For Kenneth Bowling, a hand up and hope for the future. In Lafayette, Dustin Grove, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.